Assalamu alaikum. So today I'll start Surah Al-Kahf or the cave and uh, this surah has 110 ayahs so inshallah I'll be doing like 25 ayahs every day and in a couple of days we'll complete it inshallah. So this is surah number 18. This Makkan chapter takes its name from the story of the people of the cave in the uh, in the verses 9 to 26. According to Ibn Abbas, the Prophet ﷺ was asked about the youths who hid, um, who hid in a cave and a king who dominated in the large parts of the world uh, uh, and about the spirit. Uh, so the Prophet says in an authentic narration of Tirinthi, No one's feet will move on Judgment Day until they are asked about four things. What did they do in their youth? How they earned and spent their wealth? What they did with their knowledge and how they spent their lives? Interestingly, the four questions correspond to the four stories which are mentioned in this chapter. The story of the youths and the cave, the story of wealthy men and the two gardens, the story of Musa, uh, Prophet Musa and the man of knowledge, and finally the story of Zulkarnan and his life and travels in the service of Allah. The four stories are interjected by warnings to disbelievers and good news to the believers. Like the story of the people of the cave, some miraculous stories appear in the next chapter, which is uh, Surah Maryam. Message of the Quran All praise is for Allah who has revealed the book to his servant allowing no crookedness in it making it perfectly upright and to warn the disbelievers and to uh, of a severe torment from him to give good news to the believers who do good that they will be uh, have a fine reward in which they will remain forever and to warn those who claim God has an offspring SubhanAllah this uh, they have no knowledge of this nor did their forefathers what a terrible claim that comes out of their mouths they say nothing but lies be steadfast now perhaps you a prophet وسلم, will grieve yourself to death over the denial over their denial in fact if they continue to disbelieve in this message we have indeed made whatever is on earth as an adornment for it in order uh, in order to test which of them is uh, the best in deeds and we will certainly reduce whatever is on it to barren ground. Story number one, the people of the cave. Have you a prophet thought that the people of the cave and um, and the plaque were the only wonders of our signs? Remember when those youths took refuge in the cave and said, Our Lord, grant us mercy uh, from yourself and guide us rightly through our ordeal. So we caused them to fall into dead sleep in a cave for many years. Then we raised them so we may show which of the two groups would make a better estimation of the length of their stay. <clears throat> Standing up uh, for the truth. We relate to you, O Prophet وسلم, their story in truth. Uh, they were youths who truly believed in their Lord and, would increase, um, and we increased them in guidance. And we strengthened their hearts um, when they stood up and declared, Our Lord is the Lord of the heavens and earth. We will never call upon any God besides him, and we would truly be uttering an outrageous lie. Then they said to one another, that These people of ours has taken gods beside Allah. So why do they not produce a clear proof of them? Who then does more wrong than those who fabricate lies about Allah? Since you have distanced yourself from them and what they worship besides Allah, take refuge in the cave. Your Lord will extend his mercy to you and accommodate you in, an, in your ordeal in the cave. As you uh, would have seen the sun as it rose inclining away from their cave uh, to the right and as it set declining away from uh, from them in the left while they lay in its open space. That is one of the signs of Allah. Whoever God guides is truly guided. But whoever he leaves astray, you will never find for them, um, uh, for them a guiding mentor. And you would have thought that they were awake though they were asleep. We turned them over to right and left while their dog stretched his four legs at the entrance. Had you looked at them, you would have certainly fled away from them, filled with horror. The youths are awakened. And so we awakened them so they might ask the question to one another. One of them exclaimed, How long have we remained asleep? Some replied, perhaps a day or a part of the day. They said to one another, Your Lord knows best how long you have remained. So send one of you with the silver coins of yours to the city and let him find which food is the purest and bring you provisions from it. Let him be exceptionally cautious and do not let him give away, give you away. For indeed, if they find out about you, they will stone you to death or force you back into their faith and that you will never succeed. 
the hideout is found. That is how we cause them to be discovered so that the people might know that God's promise of resurrection is true and that there is no doubt about the hour. When the people disputed with each other about the case of the youth after their death, some proposed build a structure around them their Lord knows best about them. Those who prevailed in matter said, we will surely build a place of worship over them. How many were they? Some will say that they were three, their dog was a fourth, while others will say they were five, their dog was a sixth, only guessing blindly. And others will say that they were seven and their dog was the eighth. Say, O Prophet ﷺ, my Lord knows best their exact number. Only a few people know as well. So do not argue about them except with knowledge, uh, with sure knowledge, nor consult any of those who debate about them. Say, God willing, inshallah. And never say of anything, I will definitely do this tomorrow without adding if God wills, if God so wills. But if you forget, then remember your Lord and say, I trust my Lord with, uh, will guide me to what is more right than this. Time spent in the cave. They had remained in the cave for 300, uh, adding 9. Say, O oh Prophet, God knows best how long they stayed with him alone is the, uh, how long they stayed. With him alone is the knowledge of unseen of the heavens and the earth, how perfectly he hears and sees. SubhanAllah. They have no guardian besides him and he shares his command with none. Inshallah, we'll continue uh, tomorrow uh, further. Fi